Hi, this is Chris from JustGoodBytes.com, your ultimate source for all Apple-related news, reviews, and tutorials. Today I'm going to show you how to properly and easily uninstall programs on your Mac. As you can see on your screen, I'm going to guide you through three recommended ways of removing OS X applications. First, we'll go through the manual method. Then, I'll show you how to remove Mac App Store applications. And finally, an additional tip on how to uninstall applications using a third-party solution. So, without further ado, let's learn how to remove OS X applications manually. Uninstalling applications manually can be done in four steps, which include removal of applications to the trash bin and finding their obsolete files and extensions. I will explain all four steps in detail, so let's start from the first step. This step includes removal of unwanted or unneeded apps from your applications folder to the trash bin, which then needs to be securely emptied. By default, OS X stores applications into two different locations on your hard drive, and one of them is your Applications folder. You can easily find it in your Finder. As you can see on the screen, some applications are self-contained icons, while others are placed within folders. If you right-click on a self-contained application and select Show Package Contents, you can see that there are folders and files that are hidden behind this icon. This means that once you move this application into the trash bin, you will remove all these hidden files as well. In contrast, some applications use clearly visible folders and files, such as Microsoft Office or Adobe's Creative Suite. These are usually more complex applications, and in many instances, these applications have various files stored within the system. The first step is to move unwanted applications to the trash bin, and then select Empty Trash to completely get rid of them. The next step shows how to find obsolete files that are no longer needed on your OS X since you've already removed the main portion, which are also known as application support files. You need to click on your hard drive's icon, usually visible on your desktop, and then go to Library folder in Finder. This is where you need to look for folders and files named after the applications you've previously removed from your applications folder. My suggestion is to use the search function, and also to look in the folder named Application Support. It is also wise to take a look at a folder named Preferences. Remember to look for folders and files strictly named after an application you want to remove. Similarly to the previous step, in this step we are going to remove obsolete support files from your user library. We need to access another library folder, but this one is going to be tied to your username. Open Finder, click on Users, and choose your username. Now click on the library folder. This is not the same library folder as the previous one, since this one is tied to your username, instead of the first one, which is system-wide. Once again, look for folders named after applications you want to remove. You need to look for these folders in the main library view, as well as in the following folders. Application Support, Launch Agents, Launch Daemons, Preferences, Preference Panes, and Startup Items. So, once again, here's the list of folders that you need to check. These folders usually contain obsolete files, so just keep in mind that you're looking for folders named after applications you already removed. This final step is needed for those persistent applications that hide their files deep within the system. In case you've deleted an application but it still tries to launch on startup, this might solve your problem. You need to locate kernel extension by going to System library extensions, where you will see files that end with .kext. Make sure you find and delete items that contain the exact name of the application you want to have removed. This is the final step when it comes to uninstalling OS X applications manually. Do you want to remove applications that were purchased using the Mac App Store? Well, the good news is the removal of these apps is a very simple task. I'll show you how. When it comes to deleting applications you've purchased or tried from the Mac App Store, 
The best way is to open Launchpad, where you will see something that resembles the home screen of an iOS device. Click and hold the mouse button down on any app, and apps will start wiggling. The apps that you previously downloaded from the Mac App Store will show an X button in the upper left corner of the app icon. Click on the X to delete the app from your Mac. For applications that don't show the X button, you will need to follow the first part of this video and go to your applications and library folders to get rid of them. In case you really don't like to search for folders within Finder to remove them, or if you're really afraid that you might break something, I have another solution for you. You can use an app designed to get rid of other apps. I'm going to show you how to use App Cleaner, one of the most popular third party uninstallers. By the way, the app is completely free of charge. As you can see, this is a very simple and even minimalistic app. When you open it, you will see a small window that says drop your apps here, and that is exactly what you need to do. Naturally, you can drag and drop one application or several at the same time. When you drag an application onto App Cleaner, this app will search for obsolete fragments in all those folders that I previously told you about. As you can see, this app will tell you how many files have been discovered, as well as how much space you're going to regain after deleting the apps you previously selected. Simply click on Remove and the app will finish the job on its own. I hope you have found today's tutorial easy to understand and helpful as well and that you're going to use this knowledge to free up some space on your hard drive and help your Mac perform better. Subscribe to Just Good Bytes YouTube channel to stay notified about the latest tutorials and visit our website for daily posted news, reviews and tutorials.